the heels of an all-girls Ghostbusters reboot, 21 Jump Street is getting a female spinoff. What's up, Chief? We got our first bus. I got him! Yes! Yes! Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill have been benched. The 21 Jump Street crime-fighting team is about to be replaced by a couple of ladies. Sony has put in an order for a female spin-off of the buddy cop comedy. No casting details yet, but it will be written by the team behind Comedy Central's Broad City. However, Tatum and Hill aren't finished playing Janko and Schmidt yet. Sony has officially commissioned a crossover that will see the duo enter the Men in Black universe to investigate aliens. A plan that was originally outlined in leaked emails after last year's massive Sony hack. Justin Bieber is getting back to work in a big way as he records a new album and prepares for an unspecified role in Zoolander 2. Yes, that's right, Zoolander 2. It looks like Blue Steel is about to meet Justin Bieber. Both the singer and Ben Stiller teased the possibility of a Bieber cameo with this picture. Zoolander 2 hits theaters next February. With the Duchess of Cambridge nearly a week past her rumored due date, royal baby watchers are getting anxious. But even when the little prince or princess arrives, those waiting outside the hospital won't be the first to know. Once again, the queen will be the first person to be notified. There is a blackout from 10 p.m. British time to 8 a.m., which is when the queen is asleep. So no news can filter through during those hours. The queen will be told, then key members of the press, and then Clarence House is going to to tweet the news and then it will be posted on the traditional easel outside Buckingham Palace. While you wait, read up on Kate's plans for raising two under two in this week's issue of Hello Canada, available on newsstands and your next issue app today. With the Avengers Age of Ultron hitting theaters tomorrow, we've got superheroes on our mind and I got to enter the Marvel Universe myself with a behind the scenes look at the live arena tour. We get to dress up as superheroes is our job. It's amazing. The comic book generation of fans are so intense about the characters that they get to see portrayed, and you guys get to do it every night. It's a comic book brought to life. When you put on the uniform, does it make you feel like you're the character? Oh, absolutely. This is the drift car that we use in the show. So Nick Fury's behind me, and uh, I jump from this one to the hood of his. I buckle in, and it flips over live on stage. No big deal. No big deal. And now you're going to let me drive it. I'm going to let you drive this one. Okay. Right in there. Okay. So they do. Hands up. Go for it. Okay. There you go. See that? Yes. Okay, they just announced that Fast and Furious 8 is being made. What do you think my chances are of being a drift driver? I think you're the lead. Hear that? If you want to see the show for yourself, Marvel Universe Live is coming to major Canadian cities this summer from June through August. Tune in tomorrow for part two of my Marvel adventures, including a run-in with the Black Widow. Are you insane? Yeah, so be careful. Season two of Mom wraps up tonight with the episode Fun Girl Stuff and Eternal Salvation. It features guest appearances from Oscar winner Octavia Spencer and Jamie Presley, who will be a series regular in season three. Catch the hilarious finale tonight only on City. I have reason to believe the sheriff is taking payoffs from the murderer. The season finale of City's Backstrom also airs tonight. The can't-miss episode sees Backstrom making a difficult decision when he suspects his father of being a dirty cop. See you tonight only on City. Now, I'm excited for Zoolander 2, but we want to know, are you excited to see Justin Bieber appearing in Zoolander 2? Tweet us at NCity.